Welcome into the weekend retreat, all my family and friends. Lazy Retired Granny here, and today is Sunday, the 22nd of September, 2024. The time is 8.50 a.m. here in sunny Salem, Oregon. It is getting warm out there already. They say 82, but... Oh my goodness, uh, bring out the AC. It's already warm. Yeah. So beside me, I have my hot caffeinated breakfast blend coffee with French vanilla creamer in my awesome mug from my diamond daughter, V. And as always, we're going to turn on the wax lamp. There we go. And get into our box of waxes that my diamond daughter Rebecca sent to me. And let's see what we have today. Oh, this is a big one. You know, I think I want a smaller one. Let's try this one. Okay, what do we got here? This is honey. On baked banana bread, banana zucchini bread, cotton candy, and frosting. Or maybe that's cotton candy frosting. Okay. And, ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, does that smell good? I can hardly wait for that to melt. Come on, wax melt. Oh yeah, that's good. And I got another one for later. So, today is Sunday. So, I'm still at the weekend retreat. But today, I'm going to work on this fairy that I, for some reason, keep calling an angel. But it's not, it's a fairy. And as you might recall, I have the full version of this in a 50 by 50. This one is special shape, special drills, and it is a partial 30 by 30 centimeters. And we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 colors. We have 8 of the special drills and six of the special shapes. Mm hmm Fun, fun, fun. And I am going to complete this today. Yeah, look at her. Isn't she cute? And look at um the drill filled is very easy to read. And I don't know if I got this from Timu. Or where I got it. I just cannot remember. Yeah, so we're only going to diamond paint the areas, you know, where you see symbols or numbers or letters. Yeah, so this back here won't be having drills down on it. And as always when I do these, I do one color at a time. So... Let me find my tray. There it is. Okay, so this is one. Aren't those pretty? So, I guess I need my scissors. Okay, so we're gonna open up this bag. And pour out a few. Don't need the whole bag, because we may not need the whole bag. And we'll shake it around. Oh, aren't those pretty? Silvery sparkles. Okay, and we're gonna take a gulp of coffee. 
Alrighty. Put on the dollar store readers. Get the pin. Get some wax in there. And I am ready to rock and roll. Although I do need my my little um, mat because I'm going to be all over the place. And I don't want to be sticking to it. So let's find the ones. Looks like it's going to be in her little fairy dress. So we'll just start right there. Yep, and I'm going to be twisting and turning the canvas around. Ooh, this is going to be pretty and sparkly. I really enjoy doing these. Yeah, look at there. So, what have I been up to? Well... Um, my allergies are really bothering me this morning, and I think that's because we have this heat wave coming on, and it's fooling everything out there, outside, so... Yeah, so we got maybe pollen going on, and oh my gosh, yeah, we got the bees going on out there. They're over in the apple orchard. Oh, just so much. Ellie and I walked out there earlier, and oh my gosh, I had to get her away from there. You know, she is very allergic to bees. Yeah, my grandsons were out there picking up apples, thank goodness, because, yeah, I don't do bees. And my son from upstairs, Kevin, he's out there mowing the field. Yeah, it's like a summer day out there. Ugh. One moment, please. Yeah, I might be doing a lot of stop and starts here. Uh, yeah, it's like, okay, I gotta drag out the allergy pills again. The next, I think it's through Tuesday, we're having the last hurrahs of summer. We're supposed to be like 90 on Tuesday. Which is okay because the solar panels have to earn their keep out there. So we get all those credits. I wonder if I should turn on my light. Ooh. Maybe tone it down just a tad there. That might help me a little bit. <clears throat> so tomorrow. I am going to start walking. I'm going to try to um, lose a little, few pounds. I need a lot of pounds, but I'm not going to do it like before. I was obsessed with walking when I was on my weight loss challenge and I think that was in 2015. 
I lost a lot of weight in a short amount of time. And then I haven't gained it all back, but <clears throat> I've gained back about 30 pounds. Yeah, over the years. So I need to get back into walking and drinking my 100 ounces of water a day. Which, I'm a water drinker anyway, so, but I haven't been drinking water like what I should. And when I walk, I can drink lots of water, yeah. But I figure this is a good time because it's not as hot. Like during the summer when I was doing it before. So hopefully my body is going to say, yep, we're going to lose weight fast, just like we did before. <laughs> and I don't get it a standstill. I wish I had one of those walking machines inside the house. Yeah, I would like that for the winter time. May have to look into one of those. Maybe I can pick up a used one. If I can, I wanted um, then I would do one of those walking programs where you're walking and you're watching where you're walking at. I could go to horse guards. <laughs> I could walk the streets of London. Because then, you know, your mind is focused on something else. And then you can walk longer and not know it. Right? Right. So, but yeah, I'm going to be... Um, Tita started walking. And she also has an exercise bike, so... She can walk outside and then she can use her bike inside. And she said she has one of those programs, but it's not one, it just shows where you walk to. I don't think you can watch a virtual thing, which is what I want. Yeah. Um, hey, Ellie. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to be checking on that. But anyway, mine starts tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to be out walking. And I'm just going to walk a little bit because um, at a time... Um, Mainly because, oh yeah, because I've gained weight, you know, and I got that belly thing going. My back hurts when I walk a lot. So I'm just going to do it several times a day. And I will walk out here, walk the, the roundabout. And just kind of work up to one trip around and then two trips around but the recommendation is that you were you do at least 10,000 steps a day which is five miles and when I was walking before I mean I was obsessed with walking and I was doing between 
17 and 20 miles a day. Yeah. I would go out and walk first thing in the morning. And then I'd come in, eat a healthy breakfast, go back out, walk. And I was walking like at least two miles each time I went out. Okay, so then I have my breakfast, go out for another walk, and then I'd come in for about an hour and do stuff, and then back out I'd go. And well, anyway, then I would make sure I went out before lunch, then come in, eat lunch, back out again. And then wait a little bit, go out and walk, walk before dinner walk after dinner, and then walk before bedtime. And when I was walking, I did, um, I had my headphones on and I would listen to music. <clears throat> I had CDs in my little portable CD player. <laughs> that shows how old school I am. And I had my Fitbit. And it would show people in my age group weight and all that. And it would show how much they were walking per day. And boy, I had to be at the top of the list. And nobody better beat me, you know. But even <clears throat> walking as much as what I did, there was other people that, you know, would beat me. They'd walk 20 miles versus my 17 for a day. And it's like, oh, how do they do this? What are they doing? But yeah, I put in my CD player and I had to walk at least the complete CD, you know, start to finish. That'd be minimum. But when you're drinking that much water, you don't eat as much because you feel full. And I was eating lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. So anyway, yeah, so Tina and I are going to do this together. We're going to be losing weight together. Getting healthy. But I have I have to charge my Fitbit, so and then have my son reprogram it. Because I was going to do this before, but I had to do a reset, and I don't know how to do all that stuff. So hopefully I don't have to buy another Fitbit.
and then I want to get in and see I belong to one of their programs before so I can't remember if I paid for that or if that was free on the Fitbit. So I got to check all that out today. So my first goal is to work to walk the um, 10,000 steps and lose 10 pounds. That is my first goal. And I do know from the past, you can drop 10 pounds pretty fast. And then you go into this, and you can't lose anything, and it gets discouraging. But then, all of a sudden, you drop a few pounds, and you pick her back up again, and then you don't lose anything. <laughs> And pretty soon you start losing again. <laughs> so I kind of know what to expect with my body and with what I do. So. Okay, let's get to some emails. Dookie dookie, let's see what's in here. And turn off the light as usual. Wow, is that glow in the dark? That almost looks like glow in the dark. Hang on a minute. Those don't look like glow in the dark, but look at them. Let me shut the drapes all the way since Ellie decided to open them. Take it to a really dark space. No, I don't think it is. It just kind of looked like it when we were sitting here. All right, emails. Rolling. Anita. Hi, Granny. My monthly is finished. And yeah, Anita's doing the same 12 pack that I am. Did you run out of any drills? Yeah, I ran out a few of the yellowish color, gold. Can't remember which one it was now. I'm so glad we're doing those together. Okay. Okay, what happened? Okay, there's a need. Uh, Patricia. Progress. Oh, never mind. She was just giving me a thumbs up from my... Okay, Margie wanted to share 
just wanted to share my amazing appreciation friend mail from Tita. She is such a sweetie. Since I don't have a channel, figured this was the best way to show thanks. And knew you wouldn't mind. Thanks for sharing hugs. Oh, wow. What did you get? <gasps> wow. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Look at there. Ooh, you got a diamond dot, that rose. Oh, and a cute little cub. Oh, here's some more. A birdhouse. I'm not for sure which one that is. Oh, a horseshoe. Oh my goodness, look at this one. That is beautiful. Oh, and a cute little bear. And what is this stuff? Did she send you some pins? Wow. Well, and I do know, Margie, you have to be number one supporter of YouTube channels. I see your name all over the place when I'm looking at YouTube videos, and you always support people who are doing videos by commenting. You always have such encouraging and sweet positive comments yeah so that was super duper cool that tita sent that to you you don't know how much it means to youtube um, content creators those comments and kind words A lot of YouTube ch channels were just here to have fun, make friends, laugh, gab. I know for me, I'm not, I'm not monetized, so I do not make any money. Um, you know, I'm not a money channel. I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm not trying to. Um, yeah, I'm just here to relax, have fun, enjoy the gab sessions, and I, how many times have I said it? I look forward to my gab sessions every single morning, reading your comments and sharing what you are laying down drills on, or your pets, or your travels, or whatever you're doing. You know, we just get to know each other. We're friends on here. We're family on here. And me doing this silly notebook <laughs> thing, I thoroughly enjoy it. You know, it's just something fun to do. And Tita does put a lot of con um, content on hers. And yeah, so that is super duper cool. That was so sweet of her. But Margie, you are appreciated. I don't know if anybody really acknowledges that, so I'm glad that she did. We all love Margie. All right, Julie Sears. New subscriber. Hi there. I've been watching Diamonds by Tita for a while now, and she mentioned your channel. I'm happy I found you. I enjoy your content. Oh, thank you. Yep, this is just a fun little channel. 
I'm happy I found you. Um, okay, thanks for asking me to email you what I'm working on. I don't participate in social media other than YouTube, so don't have many people excited about my hobby other than a sister and a couple of friends. I'm currently working on and plan on finishing this weekend Psychedel Psychedelic Maine Coon by DAC. It's a beast in terms of size and is pretty much all confetti. Oh, I know about the confetti. Dancing girl. Ugh. Um, I have a couple little budget canvases. I'm going... When I don't have the time to get out the big one. Oh, you have a couple going. Okay. I also have the first row done of the librarian from the one with the diamond art. It's an 80 by 100, so it will take me a while. Once I'm done with this big one, I'm working on Trick or Treaters by Dreamer. Yay! But just have one little section done. I just got my A Familiar Feeling from Pam Diamond Painting and hope to get started on that too. I have way too many to do and not enough time in the day. Oh, welcome to the club. Maybe some day we can, or maybe sometime we can meet for coffee or something, or at least shopping, lol. My sister lives in Woodburn, and I live in Albany, so Salem is often our middle ground for meeting up. Thanks so much. I've attached a few pictures. All right, let's take a gander. Ooh. Wow, that is a psychedelic kitty. Wow, that has a lot of pretty colors to it. Which way we're going to go here? Oh, let's turn it this way. Oh, look at that one. Wow, girl. You're in psychedelic or um, confetti heavy territories. Oh, look at this one. I love the markings on that kitty cat. Those are my favorite markings for a kitty. And look at those eyes. Ooh. Wow, you got a lot going. Yeah, wood burn is probably, what, 20 minutes from me? Well, if you go the freeway, it's probably pretty fast. And then Albany, the same. Yeah, Salem's in the middle of those two towns. Now, I do think that Woodburn, I don't know if they have a Hobby Lobby there. Although, they have Walmart. I do know that. And... I really like that Walmart. I haven't been for a few years, so maybe it's changed. But, oh, I really like that. It was always so clean. And I like their bathrooms in there. <laughs> I really like that store. And Albany, I've been to the... I don't know if they have a Hobby Lobby there. But um, I have been... Have I been to the Walmart there? I think my son used to live in Albany, so I can't remember. Okay, uh, Peggy, Community Haunted House. All right. Hi, Granny. Thought I would post my latest Halloween canvas. Thought maybe it could be added to our community. All the kids need somewhere to trick or treat. Address is 1031 Haunted Way. It is from Timu, a 50 by 50 centimeters, and no ABs. Picture attached. Ooh, look at that. It still looks inviting though, doesn't it?
you know, um, all right, hold on. I gotta turn on my light. Add this to the book. <coughs> Which way do I want to go? We'll do that as second builds. Okay, and this is Peggy. And it is 1031. Now remember, we use pretend addresses, not our real addresses. Okay. You are added. I like that. That's a good idea. Teresa, a finish. She started this on 9.15, completed it on 9.21, Dockside Sunset by Tom Wood, Diamond Art Club, Square Drills, 55.8 by 83.7 centimeters, 22 by 33 inches. Wow, girl. You can diamond paint fast. There's a picture of it. And there's the completed. Oh, she's even got it framed. Wow. That is beautiful. I love those doggies. That could be Ellie. That's about her color, her ears, her haunches. <laughs> I like that. Thank you for sharing that. And that could be at our village. Patricia. This I think, let's see. I live near Dayton, Tennessee, about 50 miles up the mountain from Dayton. They have two Dollar Tree stores. One is about three months old. Wow. So you would have to go 50 miles to the dollar store. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh. Amazing. Whew. And I complain how far I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Terry, weekend retreat update. Hi, Linda. Completed my love bug. It is a 40 by 40. Moved back to my Halloween gnome for the rest of the weekend. We'll get back to laying down drills on space for reflection on Monday. All right, let's go to our love bug. Oh, I forgot to show it to you. Hold on. <laughs> I love that license plate. Crazy Terry. <laughs> okay, so Terry...
circle. She finished it so she gets a circle around her name. <laughs> oh. Rebecca. Oh, some wax picks. All right. Hey, Diamond Mon. I've really been enjoying your videos. You put me in such a great mood every day. Oh, well, that's good. You guys put me in a good mood. I've included two wax picks just for the heck of it. The Raggedy Andy is a scent watermelon white cake and the cinnamon rolls is cinnamon roll vanilla frosting. Happy fall. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. That is so adorbs. Yeah, she's the one that sent me all the wax melts. Oh, and I'm enjoying every single one of them. And yep, we're doing the fall ones now. Oh, look at this one. <gasps> Is that not cute? Now, do you do yours? Do you take them apart and just do one at a time? Or do you just set that on your wax melt and melt it right there in the, in the tin? Mm. Oh, man, I bet that smells heavenly. Yeah, she sent me those, and it's like, you know, it's just the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, I just got an email from Dreamer. Four fresh medium kits in. New designs. So let's see what they got here. And I think this is their over yeah, this is their overseas collection. That's a cute kitty. That reminds me of Oscar Cat. Let's scroll up. Let's see, is that all they got? Yeah. Yeah, those are all their new ones. I kind of like that bear one, but no, I will not be ordering. Yeah. And I think the new arrivals um, that landed yesterday yeah, there wasn't anything that was floating my boat. I'm not much of a Halloween person. This is the only one that kind of got my attention only because it reminds me of Harry Potter. But But no, I'm going to pass because, and let me tell you, I do know next month they're supposed to be releasing their new and improved canvases. So I'm kind of waiting. I'm hoping they don't come out with anything that I have to have. And... Um, yeah, till then. All right. So where was I? Right here. Let's 
And to tell you the truth, I have been on such a buying spree lately with all the clearance and markdowns. And the diamond dots at Walmart. Yeah. I'm running out of room. Yeah, today I want to go through. I'm going to be doing my Amazon stash videos that's next up so i'm gonna start going through those see what i've got <clears throat> most of what i purchase from amazon are multi-packs six packs 12 packs four packs but what I'm going to be looking for, I want to see if I have any holiday themed ones in there. I want to finish up. Once I finish the big fairy, the big dancing girl, and um, she said, I want to start doing some 30 by 40s to finish up the year. Hopefully I have some in holiday themes. Those 30 by 40s, yeah, those... You can knock out pretty dang fast. And yeah, so I want to see what's in there. Set some aside. And then we'll start the new year off with maybe some bigger canvases. Although, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, we've all bought so many diamond dots that... I'm thinking that I would like to do a Diamond Dots Month or a Hula Can Month and maybe just kind of knock out some of the smaller ones free up some space here <laughs> actually I need to do some of those three panels too oh that would be good three panel month Because I know a lot of you have purchased the same brands, same type of canvases that I have. So, and you know I love laying down drills with you guys. Kind of... You know, maybe not the same canvas, but you 
yeah, it doesn't matter. If you want to do the same canvas I am or the same concept, you know, the same, like if I'm going to do a forest, you know, any forest, any forest canvas, we leave it open. I think it's better that way. And some of you, I mean, especially people that live in a different country, you don't have the same stores that we have here. And like, you know, she was saying, you know, she's 50 miles from the dollar store. And I don't think anybody living in Great Britain has Hobby Lobby. They have their own stores that are like that. And if they can get canvases, say, from Diamond Art Club or Dreamer, you know, ship overseas, man, I bet that's expensive. And I don't know if they ship free overseas if you purchase so much. But then, a lot of times it has to go through customs and we all know what that means takes a month to get stuff. And I do know that like ordering from Amazon, the one in Great Britain is different than the one here in the United States. So, yeah. I guess we better get to some comments, huh? Are those ones or sevens? What does a seven look like? I'm gonna make sure I'm doing this right. Where's the sevens at? Oh, here we go. They're pretty dang close. think I and they both are white can you see that okay here is a one and these are the sevens yeah they're pretty close believe me all right let's get the comments all right um This is on my stash today, crafting with visas. Love them all, especially the owls. I need to get me some more special drills. Take care. Yeah, you do. I love those. Margie says, Ellie is on top of her game, LOL. <laughs> nice partials. <laughs> Ellie always has to... <coughs> join in on my videos, doesn't she? Um, Valerie, this is all on my Timu stash that I did. Valerie says, I did the horse and it turned out so good. I'm going to have to do that one. Um, easy sheet music. It is good to know that Ellie is so attentive. <laughs> Amazon delivery man might decide to steal all of your stuff if Ellie wasn't there to scare them off. <laughs> oh, she is on it all the time. 
Um, Stephanie says they are all so pretty. I love owls. I need to get me some of those. And then Tita said, I love, love stash videos. I love all of them. That colorful owl is amazing. Look at all those colors. I love the colorful butterfly too. The giraffes are so pretty too. Thanks for sharing. Ah. Yeah, it's nice to go through your stash and see what you got that you forgot that you had. All right. And then we've got my gab session. Uh, Patricia says, hey, Granny, Pat here. I think I said it wrong about the dollar store. We do have Dollar Tree. And I was wondering when you say dollar store, is that the one you're talking about? We also have the Dollar General stores, LOL. You know how I get confused, LOL. We live in the mountains of East Tennessee. Yes, I am drilling the tall ship for Tita's moon. Okay, good, good, good. I um, hope you are having a good day. Blessings, Pat. All right. When I say dollar store, that's any dollar store. Dollar general, dollar, well, maybe not dollar general because that's not a you know, dollar twenty-five. Um, dollar Tree, Dollar Store, Dollar Whatever. You know, they keep changing names and when I think when they first came here they were called something else. Um and we used to have an eighty eight cent store. I don't know if you guys had those. Yeah. Um and I don't know, then it kind of went by the wayside. And now they started bringing in these dollar stores. So when I say dollar store, just, you know, they're dollar trees too. Um, let's see. And Margie said, I'm the same thing, Gab. Nice, short, and sweet whip and chat as I count thrills on my weekend retreat. Yeah, that was a short one yesterday. I... I don't know what happened, but, you know, the first one I had to delete. And then when you have to redo stuff and you're, I don't know, you kind of downsize it, size it the second time around. <laughs> oh, it was just wild and crazy here yesterday. And then Angela said, the fairies are beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And these are all on the whip and chat. Um, Benji said, the mosquitoes are attracted to your scent. The flies can be kept out of your house if you hang a sandwich bag with a few pennies in it at your door. Oh, really? I have one hanging at my door and no flies in the house. The fairy is beautiful. Well, I've got a jar of pennies. So, a sandwich bag. So, do you keep the sandwich bag open? Do they not like the scent of pennies, maybe? Copper? Hmm, that's interesting. Um... Jill says, you just said in this whip and chat that fall begins on Tuesday. I don't know what your calendar says, but mine says it starts tomorrow, Sunday the 22nd, which, which incidentally is my 58th birthday. Happy birthday, Jill. And since this is Sunday, it is your big day today. Woohoo! Everybody say happy birthday to Jill. Um... So I hope you're going to do something fun today. Um, we also will have one hot day here in Saskatchewan. I want to get back to that in just a minute. Um, it's on Wednesday. We'll get to 30, which is about 86 for you. Quite hot for us here. The highest we usually get is 34, which would be 90 for you. Um, okay, Saskatchewan. Um, when I was in grade school, we studied Canada 
and we I can't remember all the details because that was so long ago but um, we had to pick one of the I don't know what you call them up there provinces provinces or states like here or what but anyway it doesn't matter um, and write a paper on it and then we all had to get up in front of the class and we had to say what we found out about it and and that's I know how to well at least I think I'm pronouncing it right that's how we pronounced it in school Saskatchewan um, yeah I don't know why we were studying Canada but we were I don't think I really appreciated it but um, I did Hold on, I'll tell you which one I did. I loved the name of the city. Um, I would like to see Toronto. I'm on that thing. Toronto, Montreal. I would, oh man, yeah, I would like to see that. Um, hold on, let me do a map of Canada. All right, here we go. Let's see what this says. Let's see if I can find it. And it seems like, all right, I'm looking here. Um, oh, what was the name of it? Oh, why does this, ex was it Newfoundland? I think that, yeah, that was mine, New Newfoundland. Um, I just liked how that, it's all one word, Newfoundland. I like that. And I wonder, I can't really remember if that's maybe why they named that it named it. Plus it was by the sea, which I like. Um, yeah. And the people that live up in Boston, New York, I mean, they're right there by Canada. All right, I got to get out of that map because that just brings back all kinds of grade school memories to me. Okay. Um, well, there's a big controversy when fall starts. So, um, yeah. So let's look. Let's just look. Okay, when is first day of fall? Sunday, September 22nd. Now, that is what my calendar says. And that is, yeah, Sunday, September 22nd. So why was I thinking 
It was Tuesday. Let me look at my calendar. Well, I don't know. I was just making things up, I guess. But yeah, it says it's the day of Aquinox. And that's the first day of fall. So there we go. All right, we're changing it up. Um, okay, next up here. Diamonds and things. This is on my completion of my monthly. She said, didn't know Amazon had such a thing. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, Amazon has a lot of stuff. Huh? <laughs> I guess it just kind of depends on where you live. Or what's available at the time. And we are already at an hour. I just looked at the time. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. You guys always have so much to gab about. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a break here. And upload this. And yeah. And as always if you like this video you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up comment send me your emails we need gab 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 so the more we can gab the better we might just get these little gab sessions up to an hour and a half before too much longer all righty so thanks for diamond painting with me and gabbing with me all that good stuff that we do every morning and i will jibber jabber with you later okay thanks for stopping by and visiting